morning. Uh, this morning we're talking about kidney cancer. Uh, this is one of the important urologic cancers. It's the fourth most common cancer that men get and the fifth most common cancer that uh, women get. And what makes it an important cancer and a very dangerous one is that there are no symptoms uh, in the early stages. Um, a lot of people have examinations done for other reasons, for example, CAT scans of the abdomen and have incidental findings of kidney masses uh, that uh, they are completely unaware of. Um, if the disease does progress, it sometimes presents with blood in the urine and this is something that uh, one has to be on the lookout for and never ignore. The, we often see patients that present to their GPs with blood in the urine and they get treated for far too long with, for urinary tract infections and this allows the cancer sometimes to progress. There are different kinds of kidney cancer. Um, the most common kidney cancer is what we call an adenocarcinoma, which is a, a, a glandular uh, a cancer um, of the filtering tubules in the, in the kidney. And there are different levels of aggressiveness of the cancer. What, what makes it important to pick up early is that kidney cancer is completely resistant to radiation therapy and it is completely resistant to chemotherapy. So the only potential cure that we have for kidney cancer is to pick it up while it is still confined to the kidney and to remove it. Uh, in the past, the surgery used to be very radical and the, uh, most people had their total kidneys removed. Fortunately, with the new technology and the fact that we're picking these cancers up at an earlier stage um, allows us to remove the tumor out of the kidney very often and preserve large parts of the kidney. These days, with the new robotic technology, um, the surgery has become a lot less invasive and instead of large flank incisions, which have a high morbidity and would generally put patients out of action for six to eight weeks. We're now seeing patients leaving hospital in, in two days and back at work usually in seven to 10 days. So this has been a, a big advance, uh, partly due to technology um, and the minimally invasive surgery and partly due to the cancers being picked up at an earlier stage. So uh, patients often ask, what should they be on the lookout for? Um, is there a family history of uh, kidney cancer? Does diet affect uh, kidney cancer? Uh, there's been no scientific evidence that diet plays any role in, in uh, uh, kidney cancer, but there is a definite familial uh, predisposition. And if uh, another family member had kidney cancer, then you are at uh, an increased risk. It is difficult always to quantify the extent of the risk, but uh, one should be aware. The, the other kind of kidney cancer that you get is a cancer of the collecting system of the kidney, and this has a a high incidence of uh, blood in the urine. It's called a transitional cell cancer. It has a, a high association with people who smoke. Um, this cancer can occur anywhere in the collecting system from the kidney, down the ureters and into the bladder. So uh, patients who are heavy smokers or even have smoked up to 20 years prior to presentation um, and suddenly present with blood in the urine very often have a transitional cell cancer rather than a, a cancer of the renal tissue itself. Uh, this cancer is managed differently and because it is a cancer of the uh, whole field as it were of the collecting system 
uh, often we cannot get away with a partial removal of the cancer, but the whole kidney plus the ureter down to the bladder and often with a cuff of bladder uh, has to be removed in order to uh, cure that, that sick system. Obviously, the important thing is to stop smoking. Uh, there, there are other uh, uh, causes of uh, so-called transitional cell cancer and these are uh, and were often in earlier years industrial exposure to aromatic amines. Um, there were also uh, in, the, in certain parts of Europe uh, exposure to um, environmental um, substances that uh, could uh, cause uh, kidney, kidney cancer and we spoke of the Balkan states and Balkan st uh, state uh, uh, cancers um, but this is very rare these days and uh, the main cause in the South African setting especially is, uh, is smoking with uh, a transitional cell uh, cancer. There are also other tumors that one gets in the kidney that have low-grade uh, malignancies or malignant potential. Um, tumors that we refer to as oncocytomas have a very specific uh, presentation and appearance. And these are often uh, picked up incidentally once again. And because of their specific appearance, um, can be managed conservatively. Uh, this has led to the uh, practice uh, in the last few years of uh, doing biopsies of solid tumors uh, and this is usually uh, done with uh, CT scan guidance uh, and is a small relatively non-invasive uh, tumor which allows us to determine exactly what we are dealing with and then plan the, the further treatment.